Member for Fisher. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker, and I want to um, thank uh, the member for Parramatta for bringing this important motion, not necessarily on everything that she said, but I don't think that would come as any great surprise to the member for Parramatta. But the underlying philosophy of her motion is a very important one, and that is where would we be without our volunteers in this country? Um, recently, we celebrated National Volunteers Week, and uh, on the 17th of May 2021, I had about 50 representatives of various volunteer groups come to uh, down the, at the deck uh, just below my office, uh, down on Lake Kiwana. If ever you get a chance, Mr Deputy Speaker, come to this spot. It's an absolutely it's paradise uh, in the best electorate in the country. But um, I, I told those, those volunteers present that, there, that today there are six million volunteers working in Australia. And they volunteer around about 600 million hours, 600 million hours each year. And I did some very quick back of the envelope maths, you know, calculating on an average of about $80 an hour for wages and on costs. It's $48 billion saving to governments. That's $48 billion that we as taxpayers don't need to pay, all because of the generosity of some six million Australians. And uh, more locally on the Sunshine Coast, that equates to around about 26, we've got 26,000 volunteers working in 131 volunteer organisations. And for anybody that is not a volunteer, um, I want to send out this challenge to you. Volunteer, whether it's in a surf life saving club, whether it's in a croquet club, doesn't matter what it is. Do it not just for uh, the community in which you work, but uh, you get benefits yourself. The benefits you obtain by volunteering, the act of providing services without getting a financial reward. It's the warm and fuzzy benefit, Mr Deputy Speaker. You do get that warm and fuzzy feeling. Um, it's good for your mental health to feel that you are part of something much bigger than yourself. Uh, I've been involved in uh, many different community organisations. I joined as a volunteer my first organisation when I was 14, and I've been a volunteer ever since. Um, and I know that many people in this place would be the same. Um, and I want to thank uh, the volunteers of Fisher. I want to thank all the volunteers of this country that give up so much of their time. Not only uh, are they doing that for the benefit of their community, but their federal government is absolutely working alongside them. And we do that through uh, providing various grants. And I want to just spend a couple of moments talking about some of the, the programs that we run. Uh, since 2016, 60 grants under the Stronger Communities Program have been provided uh, to organisations in my electorate, totalling some $1.1 million. $9,000 for the Metcal Surf Club for a new patrol trailer. $13,775 for the Robo Coast, uh, Sunshine Coast Robotics Association. An absolutely amazing organisation uh, led by volunteers that teach kids how to build robots. Uh, and, and then they compete against each other. And then they have these competitions where schools from every other state uh, come together on the Sunshine Coast and have these amazing robot competitions. It's, uh, and to see these kids, some as young as, you know, in their, in their primary school years, actually making robo robots is really quite amazing. $13,500 for Mont Village, uh, Village Association for the construction of a covered deck and the upgrade of disability access to the heritage listed Montville Village Hall. Since 2016, 70 volunteer grants of up to $5,000 have helped with things like fuel, training and equipment costs. Uh, $5,000 for the Mullaney Light Horse Regiment uh, that were at the Mullaney Show just a couple of days ago. $4,740 for bamboo projects in education uh, for Mooloolaba volunteers. $4,990 for the Caloundra Committee of Services to the Ageing. Um, so, you know, look, we would all have stories about how the government's uh, grants programs have helped volunteers. Every single member in this place across the country 
has benefited from it. Uh, and when I say that, I mean the community has benefited from it. And the, this government will continue to work for volunteers and work with them.